dummy switch pod uh we're back we're back uh giving you those opinionated rugby opinions you know (laughs) highly opinionated dangerous opinions opinions that uh they make you raise an eyebrow how are you chris yeah yeah that's true Uh, i'm good i'm good how you doing quarters i'm doing well i'm doing well the cup is the cup is here to stay yeah, it never, it never left. <laughs> it never left. There wouldn't be a cup without uh, SA Rugby, you know. But uh, although the result not, uh, not the one that I called, but yeah, look, it's the, it's here to stay. Yeah, let's talk this game, and then we'll talk uh, a bit of Curry Cup, big weekend of rugby. Mm. Uh, Stormers, Stormers winning URC final. They had Peterson, Peterson in for Zas only change. Zas being the guy, the winger, the top try scorer yeah. in URC. Uh, Bulls just uh, Springbok groupie uh, Arantza in for 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 Creel. Uh, straight away, more more break from Krovola. And the first thing I thought of is, had selections been a week later, he he's got to be in after that. Yeah, yeah, no. The, the, I also thought of uh, thought that you know, watching that game, you know, especially of the try, you know, that he's one of the unlucky guys. But yeah, look, Bulls came in with a statement of intent. You know, they they, they didn't want to die wondering. Uh, and look, good try and and good play by him. And you know, he, he's definitely one that's probably he's in the pipeline for the box. But yeah, tough one for 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 the pack because I think they just. They got outworked. Yeah, if we think about the game, it was a game played in between the two 22s. Not too much action in the 22s. Mm. Storm is not really trying to kick the ball out because of that pressure from the Bulls line out. And the, I, think, I feel like they did most of the playing in this game. But uh, breakdowns, hotly contested. Uh, Dion Ferry in there with uh, Marcel Kutsia plus... Plus many more, like like a, a gig lineup. <laughs> yeah, no, certainly many more, many more. Although you know, there's some that uh, that are on the lineup that that, that choked, you know, uh, on the night. Uh, you know, guys that went missing, Arush Lo went missing. For me, he just you know, I, I hardly saw him in the game. Okay, maybe he was doing the dirty work, but for a game of that magnitude, you know, he needed to give more. But then. Dion Ferry has been big for the Stormers. You know, I think he's been the main difference for them at the breakdown, and just just his timing and how he he gets in there. You know, when you just when you watch him and he just makes good decisions ninety percent of the time. You know, when going for that ball and he he he, he comes out with it. You know, so yeah, I mean, he deserves to be you know where he is deserves to be to get that buck call up and you know it's, yeah, look battle of the breakdown. Yeah, before halftime, Lebok, he got a penalty back. He had missed an easier one before. And I think he mm-hmm. he definitely got the last laugh in the end. I mean, I've seen a few guys saying he's not poor quality, but I stand firmly behind him as being international quality player. Um, if we're talking kicking as well, lots of up and unders, lots of playing for territory. Uh, second yeah. half, Bulls, Bulls, second half, I have to say, they they. I, you're talking about Elric Lowe going missing, and then you talk about the try from Ruiz, which was from a restart. They had a difficult travel. They talked about guys yeah. being separated, six groups of players. Because mm. even that Ruiz try, it came from a restart. That's something that maybe two weeks of travel brings on. Yeah, yeah, I suppose so, you know. But I think a number of factors, you know, it's just looking, looking at that, it's just not finishing off or, or, or with that try, not finishing off the tackle, you know, and allowing the guy to actually get that momentum, you know. So, yes, that you can attribute that to to the, the travel fatigue, you know. And then in general, that kicking game doesn't really like a, a spectacle, although, like you say, the Stormers were trying to play, uh, but you know, the conditions weren't really the best for, for, for that kind of rugby, although there were moments... Uh, and and you know talking about Lebok, uh, definitely you know I think this this win uh, and in a in a big game, definitely I think it'll give him another level of confidence and reassurance in his own abilities that 
you know, he can he can play play at the top and do you know what? he just needs to do it again and 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 kick down the door uh, and you know the opportunities there. But anyway, back to just in terms of the the Bulls, yes, travel, but come on, you know, it's it's their job, you know, and there's that like that that try. <laughs> It is a bit is a bit soft because and why I say that is because they they brought the physicality to the game. Yeah. You, you, you know, you, you know what I mean. They they started off with that physicality, so it's just a matter of just you know let's keep it going. We can be back from half time. Let's you know secure the game. You know, basics, ABCs, and yeah, they didn't execute the pressure, but then. You have to also you have to give it to the Stormers because they're always going to find a way to to mm. to to have a say in that game. You know, they always they always do. They always have all season. I think that characterizes them. It shows their character as a team, as a unit. And you've seen, you know, what it meant for them afterwards. So it's, it's not surprising. You know, I didn't think they were, were would have the pedigree to do it, but I think it's been a coming of age for them as a group. Yeah. You know, uh, in, in terms of them showing that pedigree. You know, which. I, I I thought they didn't have. Yeah, bright bright moment of the game. I think when it was level at ten ten from around around their fifty minute mark, it was like that's where this game was exciting. It was ten ten. It was open back and forth. Anyone's mm-hmm. anyone's game, and then what ruled that out was was the Hendrix yellow, which I felt was a bit harsh. I mean, Nell was dropping. Yeah. So for I mean I don't know whether whether I saw bad camera angles or what, but to me, not too much in it. Yeah, does a for me from the other angle was a rugby collision, man. And 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 and, and he was dropping. Rena was dropping significantly, you know, and and you can't say more of the force was coming from him as opposed to Hendrix, but uh, like, do not. But again, you know, when you mentioned that period when it was ten all. I think it also it showed the willingness of our teams and the shift in mentality that our teams are willing and they do want to play, you know, and we can play where if we need to, and and it's it's a matter of time before that becomes sort of uh, just part and parcel of how we play integrated within that kicking game at at the block level, you know. Yeah, then Mol try after that penalty and Lobok seals it good moment for him especially having missed that penalty earlier because you know it would have been him it would have been his cross to bear had they lost with that penalty so i mean it's a good moment for him definitely but also that drop goal from him you know just the the decision making you know and just you know reading the reading the play at the time and taking the points that are on offer so you like i say it's just that coming of age for for this team and especially the drivers within the team, you know, and this definitely something that they can build on for the future. Yeah, man, diesel diesel is expensive. That's why the Bulls they ran out in the end. They, <laughs> there was there was nothing in the tank there, man. There was nothing in the tank. Even uh, let's talk Curry Cup. Even that team are uh, there. For me, first half just full of mistakes. It was very tense. It showed that it was a semi final. Mm-hmm. It was very nervy, not too much going on. Then second half, that's where Greek was got a chance to express themselves. Yeah, yeah, and you, you, you said it. You, you called it. You say, you know. Ah no, this one I knew. This one I knew. And and Loftus, you know, and and look, I I was I was surprised. You when when Lisa scored that try, you know, I was like, okay, you know, captain is is leading from the front. You know, it's happening, but then. It just started slipping away from them, the discipline, you know. But again, it's that Greek was pack that just does not go away. They do not stop. And you've got guys in their back line and you look at the youngsters that are in the in that team, you know, just the way that they're stepping up, you know, from Varsity Cup, quite a lot of them, you know, into Curry Cup. And yeah, it's you 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 you, you cannot not like what you see with the Greek was you know, even guys from that Bulls Union, guys from yeah. that Bulls Union. So it, it it begs that question of why didn't you give these guys contracts? Exactly, you know, because I mean, you know, if we're talking specifically on that game, you know, it, it doesn't. I would say it, doesn't, it was the most exciting game where Greek was just took the opportunities when they came. Yes, you know, and they made the Bulls pay. 
for me, the the and I was happy with the result. The big talking point for me was, you know, the Bulls coach coming out and saying, you know, listing various reasons, you know, and saying, oh no, the Curry Cup, maybe it should be shelved and whatnot. And I'm thinking, no, Chief, this is what uh, the Curry Cup must be about is, you know, it, these guys that are coming through the ranks, it's an opportunity for them to showcase and move on to higher honors, you know, and the Curry Cup is a tournament. If anything, the the coaching need, must get better to keep the standard of the Curry Cup. You, and you, that's you the thing I mean? for me is that Peter Berg he comes from CUT, doesn't he? He brought a few of his players. Then yeah. he went fishing for other Varsity Cup players. So it's, he's just yeah. shown, yeah, if you get out coach, you get out coach. Yes. I mean, come on, man. You know, you can't now. Because, I mean, you're the Bulls, right? Uh, you've got the, you've got, you've got the, 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 the financial backing. You know, you went, you got the guys that say, okay, these are our guys, you know, and probably, they're probably within the same age, age range, you know, if we look at those squads, okay, maybe Greek has got a few more experienced guys, you know, particularly in their pack. Fine, but you still, you're not, you're not recruiting those guys, or, or, or you, so, you know, you pick the guys that you pick, and, you know, it's made the best team win at the end of the day, so, you, you must do better then, you know, in terms of your recruitment. Because how can you let a guy like uh, Kam Lashiko, who was uh, captain of uh, Tux when they won, you know, and in this game, too, like our, yeah, I, just, I want to, with Kam Lashi, in this game, I think uh, he, he he took over the captaincy, you know, and just, you, you can, it's almost like there's a story within the story of the Curry Cup where there's, uh, he's a player that I see, I think definitely, He's destined for future or, or higher honors. Other semi-final, uh, cheaters at home to Pumas. This is the one that you called. This Pumas. one, I, I, I didn't. The Bombella boys, I didn't see this one coming. This, this one, I, I can, I can clearly say. You know what happened? I feel like maybe I'm also just, but I feel like everything that needed to happen for them to win happened. <laughs> you know, you think, you think about everything that they got, they got going hot early. Yeah. That offload from yeah. Engelbrecht, you know, if you think further down the game, well, even before the game, Francois Stein is out. Is out, yeah. Then Ruan Pina is out. <laughs> you know, then Spikman gets a yellow card. They're notorious for getting yellow cards. They got a yellow card in this game, but it just yeah. feels like everything that needed to happen for them to win, it happened. The stars aligned. No, Jimmy Stonehouse is a praying man. He's a praying man. <laughs> He's a praying man. He finally got his result. Uh, but, you know, at, at one stage, you'd look like, okay, you know, it's, it's going to be, you know, business as usual, tight game, yeah. semi-final, now, but cheaters. But the moment Ron Pino went off, I was just like, there it is. You know, mm. there it is. That's the, that's the opportunity, you know. And look, they had to fight for it. You know, yes. they, they, they had to fight for it. And, oh, did and they, they kept so fighting. Well. Yeah, you know, and, you know, I thought it was going to be a one-point sneak. It was a two-point sneak, but I was, just, I was just like, yo, okay. You know, I, I could see it happening, but when it was really happening, I was like, okay, wow. You know, they really yeah. did it, you know, and away from home. You, you, like, that, that's big, you know, yeah. that's big. Mm. But for me, for me, the points, yeah, a big performance from a lot of those guys. For me, the where where I thought it was slipping away from them, because we always know they're gonna put points on the board. We know yes. that they strike, they play hard, yeah. they play fast. But yeah. they they needed offensive defense, they needed to stop the cheaters at the game line or behind the game line. But it's 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 they weren't cheaters were getting front football. That's forwards were dominating, and that's when that stopped happening is when the game it is, yeah. is when the game changed. Even there's moments in this game, you think about when, when Speckman got the intercept from, I think it was De Klerk, then De Beer tidies up. And yeah. then he feeds De Klerk for the try. De Beer was on form. That guy is trying, I don't know, he's, he's, he's trying to get a bock call up or I don't know what he's trying to get, <laughs> but that man was fighting. The past two, three weeks he's been fighting. Yeah, yeah, he has. He really has been, you know, and... Look, again, it's just that uh, the desire that they had, I think there was greater desire at the end of the day, you know, for them. But uh, uh, as well, like I said, 
they've been they've been there before. You know, they know mm. what they, they know what it is like to lose in a semi final because they've been in one before. You know, and uh, it was yeah, they 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 just needed to put it out there, and the rest was going to take care of itself. And 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 it and it did for them. You know, because everybody put their hands up. There were, there wasn't a single uh, Pumas player where you could say, you know. He wasn't he wasn't at full tilt, you know. Even the guys that came on, you know, it was just they just kept on, kept on, kept on going, you know. And yeah, man, like you say, the beer, no, the beer has been hot. <laughs> he's 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 really been hot, man. Yeah. So I, I just I'm happy for the Pumas, and you know, it's time, you know, for this the the these so-called smaller unions, you know, it's 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 their time right now, you know, to to show that. There's a pathway through them as well, you know, and they they both champion unions, you know, so it, it looks it's good for SA rugby as a whole. Yeah, it's very good. Even Jimmy Stone was after the game, he was saying, No, we must get paid for this. He was <laughs> kept saying, We need the money, we need the money yeah. for this, you know. Yeah, you know. So yeah, so... they it's it's well deserved. And to see these two teams in the final. So yeah, my only thing. Is guys, please let's tune in. Let's tune in because it's we've seen it's good rugby. Look at that switch from Martins. That's yeah, that's the type of switch any forward will be proud of. Yeah, and, and both those teams just the well, the the execution of the basics from mm. those players. You know, it's sort of, sort of you know it's up and coming guys that are really building their names up. You know, some of them you know been around the block, but you know the ABCs. You know, and and that's what what they just doing better. You know, than 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 have done better than everybody else, and that's why they're in the final. It's going to be difficult to call up. I think it's the Greekers one final to lose because they're at home. So, yeah, man, let's 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 support the guys. You know, now, yeah, this Pumas. <laughs> yeah, still, I, I, yeah. I, after this week, after what I've seen this week, I think it is. Greekwa's final to lose, but I just think the Pumas. Pumas. There's, 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 there's something brewing there. There's something brewing. The Puma is out in, hunting in the desert now. It's not in the jungle. <laughs> it's in the desert, out in Kimberley now. So hey, yeah, yeah, they must be careful. Any, any closing remarks, Chris? Oh no, uh, been an exciting URST, You know. If, Good finish for the SA SA teams. Really, really happy about that. Uh, Curry Cup, you know the bread and butter. You know we, we some rising stars. The stories there. We're gonna see future. There's future box in there. You know, so yeah, let's support the boys and then yeah, let's get the test window going. Tell me switch part. Thanks for watching.